In this video, we're going to talk about the classification of polymer based on structure. So based on structure, there are three types of polymer. The first one is called as linear polymer. Second one is called as branch chain polymer. And third one is called as cross linked polymer. Now we'll discuss one by one in detail. So let's see. Uh, the first we'll discuss about linear polymer. Now, in case of linear polymer. the monomer unit combined together the monomer unit joined together to form long chain long chain suppose this is the long chain formed by combination of monomer now these chain these chain stack over one another These chains stack over one another to give well packed structure. Let me show you how this structure looks like. So suppose this is the main chain and then let's keep on stacking like this. And in this way, it forms a linear chain polymer. Now, due to close packing, due to close packing. this type of polymer have high melting point high tensile strength and high density the example of uh, this polymer that is linear chain polymer are HDPE that is high density polyethylene then you can also take an example of nylon and also you can take example of polyester I've already made video on these examples so you can just watch it so this is all about the linear polymer next we'll move to the second category and that is branch chain polymer now in case of branch chain polymer the monomer unit combined together monomer unit combined together to form not only linear chain not only linear chain the linear chain i mean to say that is the main chain but along with this linear chain it also forms it also forms side chain it also forms side chain now, because of the branches, the polymer, 
do not pack well do not pack well so packing is not efficient i can say i can show it to you by an example let's draw it uh, suppose this is the linear chain along with this linear main chain some of the branches are also growing you can see this one so this is the main chain and these are the branches now as i have mentioned already because of the branches the polymer do not pack well so branch chain polymers have low melting point then low density density is also low and these polymer also have low tensile strength low tensile strength okay now some of you would be thinking what do you mean by tensile strength tensile strength is the ability to withstand the weight to withstand the weight okay suppose this is the surface and this is the polymer and i have connected it uh, weight so how much weight it can withstand is called as tensile strength let's see the example of branch chain polymer the examples are the first example is milo pectin and then we have ldp ldp is called as low density polyethylene low density poly ethylene and then we also have glycogen okay so these are the example of uh, branch chain polymer now we'll move to the third category that is cross link polymer Now in cross-link polymer, linear chain, linear chain polymer form three-dimensional structure. Three-dimensional structure. For example, like this, you can see here. So this is the three-dimensional structure. Only two cross-linking, true cross link per polymeric chain. Per polymeric. chain is required to join all the long chain to join all the long chain polymer molecule polymer molecule to form giant molecule so let me repeat once again 
uh, first the linear chain polymer forms a three dimensional structure so these are the linear chain polymer you can see here from here till here this is the three dimensional structure now in between this we require a cross linking as mentioned here minimum two cross link is required per polymeric chain so that they can join together the entire polymeric molecule now this is made up of so many monomeric unit so many monomeric unit so we need to provide a cross link among them i'll just show it now this is the cross link this is the cross link at least two cross link are required even more is possible then it forms a long chain okay and a joint molecule is created okay so in a simple language i can say there should be a cross linking between the linear chain so suppose this is the linear chain there should be a cross linking okay this is the cross linking okay then such type of polymer is called as cross linked polymer now due to presence of cross link this polymer are hard rigid and brittle i'll repeat the statement due to cross link the polymer are hard rigid and brittle the example of cross link polymers are bakelite urea formaldehyde polymer and finally melamine formaldehyde polymer we have melamine formaldehyde polymer so this is all about the classification of polymer on the basis of their structure so i hope you like the video don't forget to share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching